Om Shanti and welcome back. We are talking to you about the 31st of May, Godly Blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to become successful and full of all treasures. So let's see what does he want us to do in order to become successful. God says, may you become an embodiment of success by using the right method to accumulate all the treasures. Here the treasures is the wisdom which we receive. The treasure is the knowledge which we receive about the complete world drama. What kind of acting is going on? What is the right method of acting in this world drama at this particular time stage at which the drama has reached? The treasure of knowledge of how to keep the mind stable, how to face anybody who is angry, greedy, jealous, egoistic, how to remain calm within, how to be powerful enough to make the right decisions, how to discern, all this is what comes under the treasure. So God says, accumulate all the treasures and attain the success of perfection. So that is how we become perfect completely. God then says, for 63 births, you wasted all your treasures. Now this is the 63 births is when we talk about the Copper Age and the Iron Age. So for 63 births, God says, you wasted all your treasures. And now at the Confluence Age, the time when the transition from the iron age or hell to heaven the golden age is going to happen you have to accumulate all those treasures accurately by using the right method the way to accumulate them is to use all the treasures for yourself and for others with a pure attitude that means if i use the method to remain powerful if i use the method to remain content at this moment if i use the method to remain peaceful even if there's chaos around me and I use it for myself, I use the knowledge for myself, but and at the same time I help others or I share this knowledge with others so that they can also be totally content and peaceful amongst or amidst people who are discontented, unhappy, intolerant or with any negative trait. So God says, do not just collect them in the locker of your intellect. That means we listen to this knowledge, we keep the knowledge in our intellect but we don't use it practically when time comes so what we learn in brahma kumaris is, is to be used practically and then find that how peace can be attained how happiness can be attained by using it practically so god then says do not just collect them in the locker of your intellect but use those treasures use them for yourself too otherwise you will lose them so accumulate them in the right way and you will become an embodiment of success and claim the success of perfection. So we need to use this knowledge, not just listen to it and think that yes, it's so nicely said, it's such a nice knowledge, it's so wonderful, but use it practically. So when it is said that don't look at anybody's impurities for peace and prosperity and happiness in your life, then the time has come to stop looking at people's impurities to stop looking at people's faults, to stop looking at what is wrong with somebody. And that is how you attain. And if you just keep in your mind that, yes, I have to become pure. Purity is a very good thing. It's important to be pure. It's important not to look at other people's negativities. And if you don't put it in practice, then it just remains in the intellect as knowledge, but it's not experienced. And that experience makes us more knowledgeable and we can ex share that experience with others. And that makes us more powerful and successful in our life. How do you become that? How do you use this knowledge? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis with this Om Shanti.